Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, out on another walk. This time, I'm in Becks Hill, looking for a disused station. And who better to help me on my quest than the one and only Dump Man. Hello, Dump Man. Hello, Richard. The How are you? Explorer. How are you? Yes, I'm very yeah, well. Good, thank you. Scorching hot day for it. Beautiful July day. Yes. Where have you brought me, Bex Dump Man? Hill. Bex Hill West Station, actually. Oh, right. What's, yeah. uh, what's so good about the Bex Hill West it's a stunning, Station? It's absolutely... From noisy roads and lorries <laughs> and things. Very noisy. Very beautiful architecture. The station building listed, still intact. Lots of lovely sights to see. So we really thought you ought to have a look at it. That's it, really. Well, I'm fascinated. Shall we take a wander? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? That is fantastic. It's an absolutely brilliant mixture of materials. That's what I like about it. I it... mean, apart from the inside that you'll see later, the red brick mixed with the sort of Portland stone around the arch and all the detail that you can see. A beautiful Victorian building. Late Victorian, isn't it? It is, yeah. Well, it opened in 1902. Wow. So it's one of the later railways that they built in Sussex. One of the later railways that they built anywhere in the country, actually. You and said to me it didn't last very long. Not at all, yeah. Closed in June 1964, so 62, 62 years, years of service. That's it. Gosh. <clears throat> it seems a complete crime to spend all that time and money for such a short period of operation. And am I right in thinking this is a terminus station, which right, Bex Hill yeah. is right down on the south coast, isn't it? Yes, it is. Or close to it, anyway. And uh, what they wanted to do was to try and recreate the, the health resorts of Brighton and Eastbourne and Hastings for Bex Hill as well. So that was the idea by having an opulent terminus like this, but it never came to, never came to being. Well, that's a great shame, isn't it? Yes. Um, the, you know, famous, famous plans that never came to fruition. Never came to fruition seems to haunt the, uh, the the railways and indeed the canals very much I guess technology was moving on at such a fast yeah um, era the happy thing about this is that they've saved the building it's a listed building it's going to be looked after and uh, it's had various uses auction houses antique places which we'll, get, we'll see um, yeah but uh, it's I think its future is guaranteed which is the important thing unlike parts of the line just north of here with the and you're going to tell us about the viaduct. The viaduct, yeah. Um, a little bit later. But let's go and have a look on the inside. It's now eras of style, an antique We uh, should fit in workshop. perfectly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so don't lose us. But let's go and imagine that we are a couple of the passengers coming in back in the day. And yeah, you'll just have to ignore the, uh, the wonderful and superb antiques that are here, which I have to say we've got nice very kindly been given permission to come in, which presumably here, state straight away, yeah. we've got the old door. And the majority of the, the interior, the timber work is all absolutely as it was, which is why it's such a special place. So we'll come in here into the main, I guess this would have been the main lobby. Yeah, sure. Um, which you can still see the windows. Yeah, the windows are all intact, the timber, tim the ceiling work is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And the, and the parquet flooring? Yeah, isn't that great? So nice to see. Wouldn't you like that in your living room? I certainly would. I certainly would. And Absolutely. the space, you know, now, of course, it's, uh, as we see, it's got all this wonderful uh, antique furniture. But if you can imagine that not here and passengers coming in with their baggage and their bits and bobs all loitering around buying their tickets. Yeah. Are we approaching the ticket offices? We are. If we, if we hop around the other side of this wall, we'd be able to see a splendid ticket... Uh, ticket booth around that way okay let's let's go through here there's obviously two two ways through so this the best vantage we're going to come through these little offices here make our way <laughs> through and so this is now on the ticket office side uh, so ignore all the furniture for the moment and we can clearly see in the wall there would have been at least two there's one obscured here by the dresser but dump man you have found a perfect look at this look at that great? so you would have been the other side of this uh, ticket window trying to purchase your ticket for weymouth say yeah or wherever and a little chap would have been here doling out the tickets and when he'd had enough of you then he'd pull slide, it down, slide slam down, it down slide there, yeah. no more tickets today brilliant but it's great to see that's still there there's another one obscured behind this cupboard but uh, that's, that's a pretty good specimen, so yeah. happy days. Yeah, you get a real sense. Yeah. And the other great thing about this building is all the doorknobs, 
and the fittings are absolutely original. So every room that you pass through, you know, you can, it's unchanged. Yeah, I think um, one, of the, one of the things, it may be a disused station now, the fact that it's got antiques in it is, yeah. is actually quite nice rather than some yeah. of the ones where we've gone and they've changed it into a very themed, completely different themed uh, restaurant, yeah. like at Tunbridge Wells. Or it could have been offices or something. Or, yeah. or have yeah. been stripped, yeah. So, yeah. so actually you still get a sense of space yeah. here. And history. And, and history. history. Yeah. Shall we take a further wander around? Yeah, let's, let's go this way. So what's interesting, I think, is um, you've got these little... Dead yeah, you've got these little areas which may have been, uh, who knows, but it could have been this, if the, we're on the staff side, so, but maybe this was a, a staff room where they were making cups of tea. But there's a lot of space. Yeah. You know, the, the staff ceilings, yeah. had a lot of space. As you say, the high ceilings, uh, it, it's quite a lot. The port is probably rushing around, being a holiday destination. Coming back through here. So this is slightly off the beaten track. We're here to show you the last remaining original light fitting. Oh, right. So the rest of the lights are all fairly modern, but through this door, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just squeeze through. Isn't that beautiful? So that would have been dotted about loads of those loads little of lights. Loads stacks of them. Yeah. And if we'd been given permission to go up into the clock tower, which we haven't. Up there is the uh, the workings of the clock tower which sure. we have yet to show the exterior of which we shall but yeah. uh, as we arrived somebody i think was working on the clock yeah they? i think they're still up there because we saw the uh, the hour hand whizzing round yes pretty fast something like back to the future yeah it really, it really was <laughs> all we needed was that De delorean car and we would have been back in 1950 whatever it was so let's step out onto the platforms then, Dumpman, where yes, the platforms would have been. So we're going to come through here. Of course, there's more antiques, but you can see the flagstones. The original flagstones here. This is the actual surface of the platform as it was. And if you look at the old photos, you can see them still in place. We can't get out onto the platforms from this vantage point. No, you have to imagine the platforms running directly away from the station building here. We can we can speculate a bit more when we step outside to see that. But if we go up these steps just very briefly, we can just see some of the ironwork that would have been above people's heads. So the ironwork supports the canopies, uh, of which there are still some canopy work remaining. Again, we'll see that when we get out. But it's it's quite impressive, nice lattice work. Yeah. Um, and what we're looking at here is the back of the building. So the doors that we're looking down on here are the, ma the main way in which people would have exited the, uh, the waiting rooms and onto the platforms. So through here, this is... Um, this, this is one of the waiting rooms. This is one of the, one of the waiting rooms. So obviously now it's, it's being refurbished into a little cafe. But we'll just have a quick peek. So this could have been like the ladies' waiting room or the gentlemen's because they were separated back in those yeah, days. Yeah, I've got a feeling this is the ladies' waiting room. I could be wrong about that. But um, you just take a look. You see the, the lovely fireplace there with a, um, a, a stove in oh, there to warm exactly. yourself up. <laughs> and then you've got the main, the main lobby back that way. It's the impression of space all over the place. That's wonderful. Yeah. And the detail and the fabulous windows. So looking in that direction, as I am, is you would have been looking right along the length of the platforms, which have been heading off in the direction of Sidley and Crowhurst, which is where the line went. So you'd see your trains coming in, you'd hear yeah, the whistles sure. blowing, yeah. the, uh, the smoke and the steam yeah. and all of that, and then someone would come in and tell you the, the 335 to Clacton on Sea. Clacton on Sea is just about to leave, if you'd like to. If you wouldn't mind taking your seats, ever so polite. Yeah. And, 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 and you say the space, I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Is these days, we don't have any of this space. You no, know, we're all stuffed in like sardines. Yeah. And if you just cast your eye out there, you see those, the canopies that we were just looking at. And from the other side, you can still see the, uh, I don't know what you call that wavy board. Uh, that I goes know, around. It's probably either. got a. It's probably got an official name, but it's very railway type board. It is. Okay, to the okay. clock tower. Yeah, let's <laughs> just go out.
Because you've got an interesting story about the clock tower, how you're uh, yes, slightly yes. connected to it. Well, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, that's, that's interesting. I did, I did get up there a few years ago, took some photos, because up inside the clock tower, every time the railway men of old went up there to wind the clock, they signed their name. Oh, did some they? Some of them put a little bit of verse and the date. That was the point. So I really wanted to see that. Managed to get permission to go up and have a little look, take pictures. Uh, and on the strength of those pictures, a chap called Simon decided that he wanted to restore it and get it working again. Oh, wow. Um, Did he ever get it working again? Well, apparently. Apparently for, for a short time. Yes. <laughs> He's told me that he got it working and I believe that to be so. But uh, there seems to be some doubt about that, having spoken to the chaps that run the antique shop. Either way, it's a beautiful thing and it's not telling the right time at the moment no we've just watched it being spun around so we figure somebody's working on it as we speak hence the ladder to the yeah, to the, yeah. the, the, the top so actually right behind those faces when you're up there the faces are transparent so you can see the clock the the clocks from behind oh, I see. there's a four-way mechanism various bits of cogwork but all the way around the inside that are these little inscriptions dating way back early 1900s and it's, it's just amazing just to stand there and take that in it I mean, it's it's great that they've even considered the clock to still work, or, yeah. you, you know, after so long, and it's not no longer a requirement of the building that no, the clock works. Of course, no. the clock would have been absolutely vital back then because yeah. fewer people had watches. You needed to know the time of the trains. But anyway, so there we go. Well done, man. We've run out of time as ever. Have we? Yeah. Gosh, I'm sorry about that. It always scoots past, doesn't it? It shoots by, but. Thank you so much. Pleasure. It's Another fun. exciting disused railway connection. Don't forget to check out Dumpman's films. We'll put the link below. But until the next one. See you next time. See you next time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll get my baggage ready and catch the ghost train. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, <laughs>